you're going to have a state trooper. I'm a little bit Welcome back to my channel. She fires all about self-defense, mainly with a firearm. Join me as I go to observe my first USPSA match as I prepare for my own match. Please be sure to look out for other related content because I am documenting this journey. Also, if you watch to the very end, I will come back and give you my observations. I am on my way. It's a little bit before 9 a.m. on a Sunday overcast I'll show you that um, to my very first uh, hmm, audit we'll just call it that um, of a USPSA match um, I've missed it the last couple of weeks due to very bad weather but although it's overcast and very gray it is not cold and it's not rainy so come along with me let's see if uh, let's see how this goes I'm here just to see. And he says the best thing to do is just kind of jump in. You gotta shoot. You gotta walk. You gotta walk and uh, follow a path. Yes, I think the path is the problem. And I see that there's different ways that you can go about shooting. <laughs> All right, so that stage has completed with this group. The new group rolled up over here. Um, so this uh, current group will move over to the next one, shifting to the right. Um, and I will follow along. I think that's a 50 yard line stage. So see how that looks. Um, and there are two, four, five, six stages here. I believe my count is right. Um, and everything is a little bit different. So. I didn't think that, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the stages, how many it could be, the stage numbers can vary, the layout. Um, I will ask, I've been talking to them behind the scenes, just um, I will ask about how the stages are designed and if you can come early and kind of run it. Um, if you notice um, some of the guys do walk it to see which angles they want to saying that mag assist is essential in competition for him he has 30 round magazines so I don't know where you're out. everyone's got their little cart with all their stuff one of the other things that um, one of the guys mentioned he said once you start shooting competition you, you will never go back to the line the line Kind of muggy out, but it's not raining and it's not cold. Oof. If you're part of a group, you can assign yourself through the practice score. Practice score? What's it called? Help me, help me. Practice score? I'll find out. Um, if you can pre select which group you want to be a part of once you sign up. Or you just get dumped if you're like me with no association, you just get dumped at the bottom and thrown in the Pandora's box. <laughs> Pandora's box is funny. This right here is a classic. I'm going to watch it all the way through. 
So as you can see, the classic was simple. I'm glad I saw the really complex one first, so then I can look at that one and be like, oh, it's real. Um, and you're really only competing with yourself, which is what I love. It's your best score. People go at their own pace. And um, what I also found interesting is that people use the EDC as their um, shooting firearm um, or the home defense. Um, others use a dedicated competition firearm from what I am gathering. I probably do want to have my own fire, dedicated firearm to make a competition with an optic on it. So I'll explore that in a future video. This does excite me and make me want to get involved. Shooter Yari Santiago, and of course, I was not recording uh, videography 101. However, I did remember what she saw, what she shared with me as to the team aspect of it, why she was part of the team. Um, she said you get that camaraderie, the instant feedback from your teammates, it helps you to become better when you come out here as a solo person. You know, you're trying to lean from everyone and it's a little bit more challenging, but if you have teams that you kind of get that feedback and can gather the information and, and retain it and work to be better and better with the teammates. One of the last questions I asked her is what she would, um, what advice she would give to someone who's just starting out like me. Um, and she said, just show up, be here, watch, um, ask questions of the other um, competitors, what what they what they run, why they run it, anything that helps them become better. That's the point of being here and being present. Before I share my observations, I want to share a little bit of insight on why I started to pursue this in the first place. Um, I've been practicing, but I wanted to take it up a notch and really challenge myself and push myself to um, work on movement and speed in a more competitive setting. Um, I feel like when you're pushing and you're challenging yourself in that kind of environment, it just helps you be, to become better. While my entire firearms journey started with me wanting to be better prepared and um, have protection for myself and for, and for my family, it has taken on a whole expanded, I want to say a whole new meaning because I still am very dedicated to the, you know, that, that main core of self-defense, but that it it's opening up other opportunities to do more things in this space. Some of the little things that you don't see through the YouTube videos um, and that you can only get from really talking to people is to understand the importance of making sure that you have certain types of things with you, like the mag assist. Um, I learned to load my own magazines manually. Perfect, good, you should know how to do that. But when you're in a match situation, you gotta get really skilled and quick in mag, um, helpers, mag helpers. <laughs> mag assists are fantastic. And I'm thankful that I have one. I need to have a backup actually. Now that I think about it, I need to have two in case that one breaks. But um, that was definitely something. And then also that liquid chalk. Can I ask what kind of chalk, what is that that you have on your hands there? And what's that for? It's, so your, your grip is, like if your hand's not sweaty mm -hmm. and the gun doesn't slip. Yeah. But it's... Not everyone uses it though. Not everyone has sweaty hands like <laughs> me. Oh no, I have to use that. I remember one time, I was shooting a Glock 19, I couldn't rack the slide. It was so slippery.
being in Florida or no matter if you just, you know, you get sweaty hands, you're stressed, you know, you, you sweat, um, the sun, whatever it might be, having something like that helps so that your grip is strong holding your firearm. One of the other things that I noticed is how the shooters moved through the stage before, um, you know, the squad began and walking the stage and putting your hand in a certain way, motioning, you know, where you're gonna push out. Are you gonna go and start from the left? Are you gonna start from the right? Are you gonna start forwards and, and you know, advance backwards or advance backwards, you know what I mean? Move backwards um, and close your eyes and try to see the targets. And are there paper targets, cardboard targets, or are they the steel where they are? you know, trying to close your eyes and visualize where those things are. Um, more than one person said that. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you are reloading your magazine on the move. It's not advised to let your firearm go dry, um, which is in a locked position. You want to count, which does take some time, uh, count, how many shots you've taken before you need to change your mag out as you're moving. I'd say changing your magazine is probably one of the top things to be mindful of because that does affect your time. It was nice to see some ladies there. Um, they're not a lot of us. <laughs> um, but I hope by me joining, I'll be a plus one. Um, but it was good. It was comforting to see. And I, I was happy that I did pull aside uh, one of the shooters and ask her some questions and she made me feel even more comfortable. I think as I kind of get involved, um, one of the last uh, observations I had was, do I continue kind of rolling alone solo or do I join a club and what are the benefits of, for me personally, to join a club and what that would look like. I appreciate everyone watching until this point. Um, I did have my very first match which I will be sharing with you in a follow-up video. So if that will, if that is of interest to you, stay tuned for that. And would love to have your feedback, especially for folks who are doing that. You know, if I can learn something, let's save myself time, save myself some money, you know, please do uh, feel free to leave a comment. I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video.